Hey everyone, good morning, what's going on? It is currently six o'clock in the morning and it is raining. And the reason why we're sitting out here, and you know because of the title, today we're going crabbing. Don't worry, the rain is gonna go away in about two hours, so we'll be A-OK. -okay. But I wanted to bring you guys along. We do this every single year. We actually have our own flag and our own shirt, the Cantina Crowding Commission, you can see right there, a little wet. Um, but I'm bringing you guys along before we get started. Make sure you subscribe, you turn on the notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. Just a heads up, we have our brand new Christmas ornaments in stock. It is Santa driving the tram car. Plus, we have our regular Christmas ornaments back in stock. And we get a whole new order of the brand new pins for you guys. The Lighthouse, Max Pizza, and Exit Zero. Click the link in the description to purchase. Now the first thing of business is getting a boat. There's so many places down here to get a boat. We always go to Pier 47 just because I like that back bay a lot better. Once you take care of that in advance, it's time to take care of the bunker and things like that. I have a bunker right here. I'm gonna cut it on the boat just because right now, it's a little too wet for me to be putting these things outside. Um, so while we do that on the boat, we gotta check all of the traps. Now I have my non-commercial license, which allows me to have two pots. These are the two pots we're going with, a smaller one and a bigger one. I'm gonna go ahead and take the wire out of here, the line out of here, and make sure it's not dry rotted, and then roll it back up, and then we're gonna check all of the hand lines we have. We don't have too many of them, but maybe maybe seven or eight, and Pier 47 will probably give us a few more, and then from there, we're gonna start loading everything up. There's another one here that very, very dry rotted. You can see it's really falling apart. We were used. But we have another one over here. This one here, this is a heavy duty one. But the line is falling apart. So we're gonna take this one off and put a new one on. Now this one is fixed and ready to go. Now that the other traps are set, I'm setting up these ones with one of the GoPros in there to give you guys some footage later. We have all of our information on here, crossing off my number. Uh, now I'm gonna work on this one and then we'll be all set. And like this, everything is packed and ready to go. Our two commercial pots, hand lines, another net. Uh, this is pretty much it, guys. And lucky for us, as you can see, the rain is starting to die down a little bit. It's at eight o'clock, no more rain. So um, I'm holding you weather people to this, okay? No rain at eight. I almost forgot the fly. Come on, we can't go without the flag. What are you thinking? We're on our way to the birds. Jewel, how are you feeling? Wonderful. So surf, lucky? not crab. You feeling lucky? You gonna get to the, the crab? All of them. Now remember guys, from our last videos, whoever catches the most crabs gets the golden crab trophy. Where is it? It's, Where it's is inside. It? I didn't see it. It's inside. I didn't see it's it. out. I saw it. You saw it? It's there. I dusted it a while ago. I'll show you, share it with you guys a little later for those who have no idea what I'm talking about. But uh, we're driving there now. Oh, and yes, when it comes to the fly, we have matching shirts, all of us. Mm -hmm. If you want one, let me know. I, I have a ton of them. I like them. Kind of cool looking. Early morning open bridge. The George Running Bridge is open to let a commercial boat through. But uh, no worries. We got our coffee and our Wawa. Here we go. We are here, folks. Boat rentals, bait, crabs, tackle, you name it. We're on the docks, everyone. And here's our boat getting set up. We have some extra hand lines here. And there's the crew. And we are off, everyone. Frankie is driving the boat. I am terrified. No. It's the last time you'll see us. I'm the captain now. Anyway, we're gonna get the commercials out here. And we're starting to bait the other ones in the back. And uh, this is gonna be great. The rain is letting up. There's the flag going, everyone. It's on. We have two commercial traps in the water. One has the camera in it, so hopefully we have some really cool footage to share with you guys later. And right now, we're the only people out here. This is great. You guys ready to catch some crabs? Who's winning the Golden Crab Trophy? Who? Who's winning it? Mom says. Mom says she's winning it. I bet you all the hooks. I'm winning. Yeah, but I cut the bunker. You gotta cut. You gotta. You gotta kiss the bunker for good luck. Now, Julie, you wanna kiss the bunker? Oh, that was so dramatic. Our captain never warns us when we slow down. All of the traps are in the water. Boat's moving just a little bit, but uh, let them soak and we'll pull them up. Can we talk about how beautiful the scenery is? 
So beautiful. Look how beautiful this view is. Look at that view. Hey, Joel. Look at that beautiful view. Guess what? I caught the first caper. Look at him. Look at him. He's a caper. Dad caught one too. He might have one. We'll have to measure him in a second, but this one's definitely keeper. Look at him, man. Look at him. He is a beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> so this is what we have. This guy's too tiny. He's going to go back in a second. And we have my keeper right there. Look at him, man. Woo! Julia's feeling something here. We got the net out. If you guys can see anything. But it nope. felt happy. You, you're missing half of your bait still. Here's Frankie. You no. feeling anything? Nothing. Nothing. Your bait's gone. You really felt nothing. Yeah, I knew something. There we go, was guys. Really there we go. Two Not capers, the one throw back. Let's see if mom is going to get another one. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's on there. He's on there. He's on there. Oh my Woo! gosh! Look yeah! at the monster he is. <laughs> look how blue a monster. He is, I caught another baby. Look at So the first spot, we got three keepers. We have three babies. So three keepers, three babies. Mom's winning so far with two. We are at spot number two. Still is beautiful. And no rain. Maybe like 75 and we'll win. Frankie caught one more baby, so four babies so far and three keepers. We just grabbed the commercial trap. There's two keepers, a couple females, a couple males. You throw away all the females right now. But um, let me show you. You see what we have in here? A couple babies. Come on, baby. Come on, get out. There we go. The baby there. That one's too small. That's a female. You can tell. See how the clamp, the clothes are red. One's over there, a male. He's too small. We've got two keepers over on that side, though. So we have five keepers so far. Yeah, is that canceled? They're looking bell? good. And uh, yeah, they're my traps. Here we go. No, I'm joking. Yeah, we'll count them towards mine. <laughs> the sun is trying to come out. We're doing good so far. One baby and Frankie's dancing up a storm. Here's Chris. Hey, I'll catch something. Catch something. <laughs> Got another baby here. And little baby, little baby. So Frankie just caught what would have been a caper, but it's a female. Let me show you how you know it's a female. The first indication are the claws. See the red? Think of that as like, like nail polish in a sense. But the real indication is underneath. Do you see that right there? The females have more of a circle V. That's how you know, that's where the eggs go. Uh, and so that's, once again, that's vagina in a sense on a crab. And I'll show you the male in a second. Underneath of it, you can see this right here. And that's how you know. Blue claws here, they're not red. And the shape on the bottom. The more you know. And now you know, next time we go crabbing. Really. Also, don't keep the female. We have to go ahead and populate the area. So always send the again? females back. Chris got a keeper right here. And the wifey just got a keeper here. Look at him! We have about eight or nine keepers in there so far. We go grab the commercial trap again to see what we have. And then move that way. Traps are in. We got a female here. Not a keeper because she's a female. That male's a keeper and then two babies right over here. So an update so far. We're not doing good on the equipment. We lost two hand lines, we lost one net, and we lost a commercial trap that had the GoPro in it. No, we think someone may have steal, stolen that just because we, don't think. we, know. we know someone stole it. Um, so hopefully we find that. I mean, it has all my information on it. Where your movie had a hole in it. And my, all my boot. No, I, I tested all that before we left. Anyway, um, we're in another spot. We took the other commercial out so we don't lose that one either. So, here we go. And off in the distance, we have banner planes racing. <laughs> Looks like they're racing. There's three of them, it's hard to see. But there are three of them making their way to the beach. I wonder who's gonna win. We'll see, this. we'll see you in a second. And we're at spot number six. Let's right over here. We still only have nine. All right.
Alright guys, it's been four hours. It's time to go back. I believe we have 11 crabs, which is not bad. It could always be worse, right Jewel? And the sun is out, so it's a beach day, and uh, I think we had fun. We only lost like four things, and we found a commercial trap with a camera. So we have that footage now. We have a dozen yet, Joe? No, only 11. We can't wait till we grab one more. You go out there, you walk around, you grab one. We're heading back that way. Here's port, we're gonna go this way over here. Everyone's tired, we're up early today. What? I'm gonna dock right over here. What? <laughs> what are you two fighting about? She hasn't crashed us yet. That with that dock. That with that one. We are back at port. Time to disembark. <laughs> Not bark, Dad. Oh. Disembark. Everything is off the boat. We have our net. Goodbye boat. Heading back to the house. Which one should we get everyone? I like this one here. I like the black one. Julie likes the blue one over there. Which one can we fantasize about buying one day? <laughs> Which one do you want? That one, okay. You like it because it's blue, huh? Yeah. Which one do you guys want? A, B, C, D, or E? Let me know in the comment section. So we're gonna say goodbye and say hello guys. You're gonna taste very, very yummy tonight. Oh, if you need a guy who does real estate from PA to New Jersey, my father's the guy you want. Okay, and look, he has our Wawa W's. And we are back at the house we need to take everything out of the car and hose everything down. That way when we store them, they don't get rusty and so on and so forth. And we'll probably use them again in about a week and a half. But um, we don't know yet if we're steaming up those crabs or if we're doing gravy crabs, oil and garlic. So many different ways you could do crabs, seriously. But uh, we're gonna bring that stuff in now. We gotta hoist the colors, everyone. Now we have to get the camera out and I'm hoping that we have some good footage. It was in there for about two hours. It could hold maybe about an hour and a half. This is a really old GoPro. <laughs> uh, this is one of the original ones I had because worst case scenario like today when we would have lost this thing, you know, it's not that expensive for this one. They don't make these ones anymore. You can buy this one used for like 50 bucks online. But um, let's take it out and see what's on it. Now before I put the pots away, which I mean they're traps or pots, whatever you want to call them. The last time I did my crabbing video, which we do every single year, because we always have the meeting at the Catino Crabbing Commission once a year. Um, last video, the last time I did this, you guys had so many questions about the two different kinds that we have here. Because I mean, they look the same, but they're also different at the same time. There's different ways you actually catch the crabs. And a lot of people had questions about the orange things. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So the first thing you'll notice, there's four orange ones on here and four orange ones on here. In the state of New Jersey, turtles can fit in this thing and then go in there and get stuck and die. So in order to save the turtles, because turtles, they need to go out for air, crabs, not so much. So in order to save the turtles, they put these in here so that the shell can't go through here anymore. Because if you imagine, this, this part right here would have been wide enough for them to get in. Of course, if they get stuck in here, they can't get out. 
and they would ne never be able to get up through here to get the air. So you put these on here so that the turtles cannot get in. Now let's talk about the different types. You can see that this one is obviously taller versus this one. There really isn't any difference when it comes to crab. I mean, it's not like this one's better than this one. It's just this one is made more for long-term fishing or keeping in there overnight. This one's more like a day. You have more space in this one. And the way that these ones are caught is they go through here. And once they go through here and they're eating the bait in the middle, they climb up through this section up here and they get stuck on this side and this side. So then that way it could just fill up more and more and more. With this one, they go through here and there's only one section. To be honest with you, I like this one better just because once they're up here in this section, there is no way they're coming out. Over here, they can go sideways and sort of make their way out. And for the sake of us going over all the different kinds of traps we have, let's go through the hand lines. First is this one. Crabbing with this one is a lot different than a hand line itself. Because when you do this one, you have to make sure it goes down flat so that the gates open up. So a better way of understanding how this is, imagine if this is the side of the boat. If you just threw it down, it could land on its side and it won't open all the way like this. So you have to make sure you put it down straight so that the gates open up. Maybe they all don't open at the same time, but like this, this is what you hope for. And then with this one, unlike hand lines, this one you pull up fast and you capture it inside. Hand lines are completely different. There's no fast movement. You could throw it anywhere you want. It's just you have to be very, very patient with these. When you're pulling them up, you have to pull them up an inch at a time because you're dangling a crab under there or you're feeling for a crab. And so when you pull them up, you pull them up very, very, very slowly. So something as slow as this, oh, maybe not dropping that, but something as slow as this so that the crab can dangle and someone can scoop it underneath and grab it for you. So hopefully you learned something new. Anyway, in the meanwhile, I'm gonna put these guys in the shade. I'm gonna go buy at least another dozen and a half and steam these up. We have gravy crabs upstairs. They smell amazing. Dad started working on them yesterday. And for those who have no idea what gravy crabs are, they're exactly what you think. Not brown gravy, red gravy. You put your paste, your puree, everything together. You put it in with oil, garlic, fresh basil, which we have right over there. And then you can take them out of their shell and, and take everything out and then put them in there. It tastes absolutely amazing. You put some spaghetti with it and you're all set. And for those asking, yes, I can show you what the gravy crabs look like. You can see them, these are cleaned, cut in half. They are, I mean, I think we put them on for four hours and they smell absolutely amazing. Dad is preparing a concoction over here. It's gonna be pasta, it's gonna be lump crab meat, right? Italiano style. Italiano style. I can't tell you what the ingredients is, because I would have to kill you, right? All right, okay. All right. Hey, stay, right. stay cool, okay? Stay cool. Cool scoops. Got the lump crab meat ready to go. Gonna add it in a second. Get some bread in here. Can't wait to dip that in the gravy. And now I'm steaming up my crab to get the setup right here. And you know, we're using Old Bay, baby. Old Bay. There we go. Turn it on lightly. There we go. Up, oh, everyone. We're waiting for the water to boil. You know, it takes forever. There's Julia. She's waiting for the water to boil. I'm joking. Julia's up there. It smells like it's boiling and oh, hoo, hoo, it's boiling time to get the crabs and that strainer and put them right in. And in they go, everyone. Woo! Add some extra Old Bay on top and we're all set. While we're waiting for the crabs, it's time to talk about the trophy I mentioned earlier, the golden crab. This is the golden crab trophy. It's a golden crab, plastic crab that I spray painted gold, uh, along with a mariner. And um, this is an old trophy that I used to have that was uh, a soccer trophy. But every single year since 2016, the winner, AKA the person with the most crabs would win this trophy. I always win it, but this year, 
it's like a three-way tie, more like a four-way tie, because we had Julie. You want you got you got two keepers, right? Yeah. Two keepers. A lot of females we threw back, so we don't count those. So two for Julia, two for me, two for Mom, and two for Frankie. So no winner. And a quick check in on the pot. Oh my gosh, look at that. It smells too good to eat. Now look at this feast. This is an appetizer for you. We have our pastas or crab in here so yet. Watch out, yeah. Daddy Scott. Oh. oh my gosh, it's coming. No, you're going it's to coming. Oh put my the pasta gosh. In your dish and, take and then put this on top. This is white crab gravy. Oh my goodness, white crab Where? gravy. Whole crab. crab gravy crabs here. Crab gravy. Gravy crabs. Gravy crabs. So there you guys go. That was crabbing with the Contino Crabbing Commission. I hope you had a great time. Please let me know in the comment section how you like your crabs. I know we have different ways of doing it here. There's also other ways too, because you could do oil and garlic crabs, which is amazing. I know I like the lump crab meat, kind of pasta sauce that dad kind of made. That was really great right there. But anyway, once again, thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications and give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to take the flag down now and fold it up until next August. Anyway, thank you for joining me as always. I'll see you on the beach. See you later. Bye.